guys, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is going to be Adele's Grammy 2012 makeup tutorial. It's highly requested. It's really, really pretty, and I can't wait to do this rolling in the deep. <laughs> um, a Grammy Award winner times six makeup tutorial. So let's get started. I'm going to start with Naked Palette 2 from Urban Decay and priming my eyes with Urban Decay's primer potion all over my lid and also underneath the lash line. I'm going to start with Foxy, a really light shade color with a large shader brush. I'm going to cover my brow bone all the way down to my lid and that's just going to give us a really nice cool base. Using Booty Call and the same brush, I'm going to take that from my tear duct just over my eyelid. The next shade I'm going to be using is Tees with a blending brush. It's the E25 from Sigma Makeup and this is basically going to help us with the dark shade that I'm going to be using later on. It's just kind of a blending color. It's on the taupey side so it's a little bit warmer than the black obviously but not too dark so it's we're not too harsh just yet. Then taking Chopper, which I don't show on top of that taupe color. Now using Voluminous Smolder Eyeliner from L'Oreal Paris, I'm going to be marking the outer V and then also my water line as well. This is just going to make sure that the black eyeshadow stays exactly where we want it and concentrate it on the outer V of the eye. pencil brush, this is the E30 from Sigma, in blackout, the darkest color in this palette, you're going to go ahead and go on top of the lines that we just created with that pencil. Next, intensifying the cat line, we're going to use the telescopic eyeliner from L'Oreal Paris and just quickly go over this. This might take some practice, but practice makes perfect. Next, my favorite part, the Oh My Eyelashes from Katy Perry. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but she has her own eyelash line. These are not 100% human hair, so you kind of have to bend them and work with them. I'm going to be adding a quick coat of NYX Cosmetics' um, mascara to the bottom lashes. Then go back with that large shader brush and booty call and just highlight um, the inner corner of the eye and then also any of the brighter parts of your makeup. Then define a brow from Maybelline, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows quickly. This is like my go-to brow pencil and I love it more than MAC Cosmetics because it's cheaper and the formula is a little bit easier to blend. So no formal makeup would be complete without heavy concealer. This is a stick from CoverGirl called CoverGirl Smoothers in medium and then my Fit Maybelline Fit Me in number 230 with my Beauty Blender. I'm just going to go ahead and go over that concealer and blend the rest of my makeup all over my face. Now to set my makeup. I know I don't show this too much, but I'm going to be using the HD Studio Photogenic Grinding Powder from NYX Cosmetics with a large powder brush and completely set all of the makeup all over my face. I really, really, really love this powder and totally recommend it. This is in medium. Next, taking a small contour brush, this is the F05 and blend by MAC Cosmetics and make kind of a, uh, a curved line just to make my cheekbones a little bit rounder and it's also very slimming. Okay, almost done. Using natural lip liner from NYX Cosmetics, I'm going to go ahead and cover my entire lip and then filling them in with number 902C from Wet n Wild. It's just a really basic um, matte nude lipstick. And then on top of that, Perfectly Nude by Sephora. Really love this lip gloss. 
and it's really pretty too. So finishing my face with a highlight, this is Candlelight from Too Faced Cosmetics with a small dual fiber brush from Sigma Makeup of course all over the parts of my face that really stand out. So this is it guys. Oh my goodness, it's super late. I was filming this late last night at 11ish. So time for me to go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.